Hey everyone, it's Colleen with Artwork by Colleen and today's project is the Purple Emperor Butterfly. I'm showing you some of the colors that I'm going to be using today. Some gold, I did a couple of purple Skinner blends with one's darker and then one's lighter. Um, not too much difference than previous ones that I've made um, on butterflies. And here I'm just starting with uh, putting the pieces together. As you know, I kind of see the butterflies as little vein areas. But on this particular one, there's little pieces of white. So I've incorporated that into uh, my building up of the veins. So I kind of built a piece of the vein at a time and then put the white piece on the end so that it would kind of coincide with the way that the picture looked. Um, I just wanted to say up front, the picture looks like it's blue, except for my printer's kind of wonky. So it's actually a purple one. Um, as you can see here, I'm just continuing to build. I'm adding the black on the ends. I'm using mostly just the straight up purple instead of, um, instead of the Skinner blend pieces. But I will say this, uh, in hindsight after you'll see when it's finished, but in hindsight, it came out really nice. It looks a lot like the picture, but it really doesn't pop a whole lot. And I think that could be due to the fact that I used, uh, a thin, layer of black in between each of the veins to separate them but without having that much white in there or lighter color purple to make it stand out it looks just like the picture and i'm really proud of the job that came out however i just don't think it pops the way that it could slash should um anyway as i was building this up and putting in the white pieces i tried you know, I, I said to keep it going in a pattern that a um, little bit of purple and a little bit of white so that I could get the pattern going clearly I made way too much clay for this project you know put it together however that being said I always forget when I'm looking at the picture of a butterfly I'm only really doing one half of the butterfly so I don't ever need as much clay as I think I might now what I did with this one is once I got all the pieces for the first wing section together then I went ahead and added all the black hey that's my oven the clay is coming out um, I added the black to it and once I added the black I realized oh gosh darn I forgot to add the little line of gold in there which you can see that gold um, I'm adding in now and I totally a hundred percent forgot to put it in there so before you add all the black make sure you put the gold in there and don't be like Colleen but anyway it came out okay and actually I was I was pretty impressed with it considering the fact that I forgot to do it <laughs> anyway I'm starting the second piece of it and I don't want to bore you guys with just showing the same thing over and over again <clears throat> however I will say with this one that these pieces did come together a little bit differently because the white kind of went in the line and in many ways it made it a lot easier to put together because that way um, I could line up the white as I went along. And I guess, as I've said before, I still do a lot of these canes the way I do a character cane. I just sort of build it on top of the picture. It gives me a better visual. I've done some just by looking at the picture on the computer, but honestly, um, I prefer to do it this way. For me, I think it's the easiest way to do it. For you, it may not be. Now, when I put those wing pieces in there, um, I also stuck some of the um, purple and a little bit of the black in there just to give a little differentiation between the wings so you could see that uh, there was a little bit difference. And then, as I said, I went ahead and put the black. Now, if you're doing this, I don't think it would be a bad idea at all if, like in previous butterflies I've done, put a piece of light purple and then a piece of dark purple, the really thin one, to accentuate the difference between the veins. I think that that's a really good idea. Um, if you look here, you'll see on the picture, and honestly, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little piece of orange and black at the bottom tips of his wings. And all I did was stack some orange and black together. And then I put that at the bottom piece then I covered it with the black. This time I actually remembered to put the gold on like I was supposed to. At least I learned from my mistakes. I can't always say that I have in times past, but this time I did. And I went ahead and built it the way 
that I needed to do it. I put some thicker black on there, finished the whole thing up, got it the way I thought it would be um, looking proper. And that's the end of the pieces. I stretched them out. I figured you didn't really need to see how to do that. Um, and here's the finished product. Now that's what I took to make the body. I rolled out the black and then I just put a little piece of gold on top of it. I cut a little piece out and then I rolled it out to make the body. And the reason I did that is because his body's got kind of a goldish sort of head on it. And then, um, I don't know. I just built it from there. I like to put a butterfly together. What I've been doing is putting these together so you can see what it looks like finished. Then I bake them like that. And then I make like little mag magnet butterflies around my house. So why? Because why not, I guess. And there it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great day.